the balance between an investment in highways and other modes of transportation? Yeah, I, I don't think so. You know, I, I think we have to look at this again holistically if we want to have this kind of transportation systems change, if you will. Um, you know, Massachusetts has done some amazing things and initiatives around complete complete streets, right? Fixing up the sidewalks. Um, clearly, biking advocates in Rhode Island have been calling for legitimate biking lanes that can actually get you places, not just kind of one or two blocks. Um, we also know that there are, um, you know, challenges, municipal challenges, I would say, uh, that have created some resistance for bikers who are going across certain biking paths at certain um, periods of time. So I'm, I'm going on biking here, but actually what I'm really trying to say is like buses aren't enough. <laughs> buses aren't enough. Um, I think we should be looking at intra-municipal trolley systems. So for instance, you got the CIC building, this massive investment in this structure that the Raymond administration left behind and no one in the South Prop can really access it. You know, so why aren't we thinking about electrically powered trolley systems where it's not even a matter of operating in the same ma manner as you would ha have on a bus, right? Where you go in and you either pay or you have your bus pass. It's really about just being able to go on this trolley and to get across town. You know, and then thinking more expansively of what that means eventually to have a trolley system that's intermunicipal, you know, between Pawtucket and Central Falls, Providence. You know, I think that we need to really reshape our thought process around mass transportation and really think about how does Rhode Island really take a step forward to have a free transportation system that is not as costly as it relates to the, the equipment and structures as these traditional forms of transportation, which are necessary, but they should not be the only path forward. Thank you.